We have a studio, there's new kids on the block. They decided to make the best Goku statue ever made. But is this the best Goku statue ever made? You have UI Goku at the bottom of all his key. The key does have Dragon Balls. I love that they have all the Dragon Balls. Having Dragon Balls in the Dragon Ball statue is what the anime is about. It's called Dragon Ball for a reason. Kit Boo on the side. Idly detailed striations, the gold. There's no paint bleeding when you look at the Kid Buu and the arm bracelet. There's all one entire piece and they still painted it immaculately. You can say that for the other villains as well. King Piccolo, again, no paint bleeding. And King Piccolo looking green, he looking amazing. If I was to see a statue with King Piccolo, I would love to see a King Piccolo like this because King Piccolo made justice. And you barely see him in any statues. I don't think I've seen a King Piccolo before, like I said. Barely see him anywhere. I love that he's in here. Oh. So his paint job isn't making him look like porcelain. He is resin. I can feel he is resin, just to confirm. But he does look like porcelain. He's looking glossy. Maybe Cell in real life will look glossy if he came back to real life. Or if he came to real life at all, because again, anime character. Maybe he looked this glossy, because he was, Cell was pimping. You know, Cell looked, felt like he was the goat. He felt like he'll beat anybody up. And this is how he's looking here. He's looking with that greedy face, like he can beat up a UI Goku. It might be Supercell due to the key and the aura, but the blacks where they need to be, greens where they need to be, whites where they need to be. Even in the face, the face is, like I said, one entire piece again. The face, no paint bleeding with the purple and the gold, which is really impressive. That must have taken layers. It must have taken like separate layer, make the white. They make the yellow, they make the purple, and then again, separate again the layers for everything else because no paint bleeding at all visible anywhere on the cell. And the cell looks like the most complicated face to make. So that's very impressive to see. Frieza is looking metallic. Not sure if this is the kind of orb look you will want because the orb are usually clear. It's supposed to look more like glass. Here they did a metallic take. The metallic take is good. I like it. Now, is it my favorite look? Maybe, maybe not. I like more like a clear resin look when it comes to his orbs, but metallic look, definitely different, definitely well done. Separate pieces, you can see there's division for the head that it was inserted and it was glued in there and these were also inserted. So here they took, they were more careful with the Zell. Here, definitely you can see like all carefulness just to make sure that the white is white and make sure that there was no paint bleeding and the metal with the metallic surfaces. This, not sure if this is resin, it might be, but nonetheless, Freeze is looking good, straight out of the anime. Like, I love it. For Goku, we can tell it's UI Goku because his eyes are gray. Only UI Goku has gray eyes, unlike the older DBZ Goku had gray eyes, and I don't know about it. You guys can correct me in the comments if I am wrong. He does have veins on his arms and the muscle definition on um, point everywhere, looking UI as possible, ready to kick ass of everybody around him and the statue if that was the deal he made that he went to whoop everybody and retrain he's ready for it he's looking tip top condition now let's talk about this base i do not know really what this base represents i was thinking when the first like when it first started being made i was thinking turn him into power but this is not turn him into power this is more like a shrine it looks more like a homage to ui goku goku no it looks more like a homage to goku himself Everything that Goku stands for, everything that Goku wanted, and then everything that he has beaten, everything that he's overcome, that's why he's in the front. Because it's a representation of everything that this character has made through the journey. And maybe this is what it is, a temple. I think it is a temple to Goku. That's all I can think about. Especially with this pillar in the back that we're seeing. Holding the statue. I don't know the stability here, but be careful when you move the statue because there's two different parts. You need to unbuild it, rebuild it, unbuild it, rebuild it, unbuild it, rebuild it. And if you're moving again, unbuild it, rebuild it. Because if you move this shit, doesn't matter, unless you're the most coordinated person in the world, you colliding inside and GG's. No more statue for you. And then good luck getting your place in pieces with like 100 only in the world because this is a hard piece to get. Yeah, smaller pieces here and there, but not the big piece. Not the big pieces in this homage to our boy, Goku, by Mirror Image. New kids in the block, your first take a statue, 
Don't know if they're going to make a second one. Hopefully, my boy Vegeta can get the same dedication. Even though Vegeta didn't really beat anybody, we still put him with the villains because I guess he, he was the point guard, you know? The assistance to the main shooting guard over here. That's what Vegeta is. And I'll see you guys in the next Flying Raging episode.